There are a lot of things that you need to consider before you uh, so not measure the BP. Yeah. Number one, okay, uh, your patient, the age of your patient. Okay, is your patient under adult, child, or infant? Nasiya. So you have to determine whether infant, child, or adult, Nasiya. Because uh, the size of the sphygmo manometer will also affect Nasiya. So if ever you have newborn, dapat kito newborn size na sphygmo manometer. Kaya may mga tosiya. If you have child, child po the size. If you have an adult, adult the size ang inyong gamito na BP cuff Nasiya. Or kana sphygmo manometer. Gets in you? So you have to know these things. Ayaw patat mo gamit o kana. Bisa kun sa na mga uh, BP cuffs to any uh, sa na kanang uh, patients as yeah, determined that's yeah, okay next is uh, also ask the history of the BP of your patient as yeah, okay if the patient can recall siya BP before like, for example mingon siya 110 over 70 let's just say the morning ya han sa una na BP na siya so uh, 110 over 70 Oh, sa may buwato ninyo sa iyang 110 over 70 na siya. When you start to inflate na siya, di ba musaka man ang gauge? Alam naman ang gauge, you have already an idea for the BP na siya. Okay? If ever ganyan 110 ang isulti sa inyong patient na siya, you just have to add 40 to it na siya. So 110 plus 40 equals 150. So you need inflate ninyo ang gauge, meter of the gauge, uh, up to 150 na siya. Get sinyo? Ayaw na mo lapas o 200. Di na mo kailangan mo exceed o 200 siya. Add to na mo sa relay designated niya na uh, previous BP plus 40 na siya. Get sinyo? Kung mingo dyan 120 over 80 ako BP before, then i plus ang uh, 40 ang uh, 120, then you go with 160 na siya. Get sinyo? Ayaw na mo lapas o 200. Sir, what give us a patient sa iya BP na siya? If your patient doesn't have any idea, then go with 160 to 180 lang. Ayaw na mo lapas o 200 unless your patient is already uh, diagnosed or suspected for high blood na siya. Okay? Or na na siya yung mga underlying conditions which, cause, which causes na mo increase kina yung blood pressure. But if one can see idea, just go with 160 to 180. Ayaw na mo lapas o 200 kaya sakit kina ni patient. Get sinyo? Alright. Next one is locate the brachial artery. Now, as what we discussed uh, earlier, the brachial artery of your patient is located on the inner side of the crease of your elbow, meaning na siya din na area na siya. You just have to use uh, two of your fingers na siya and locate the brachial artery. Once you have located uh, the brachial artery, right, okay? Once you have located the brachial artery, remember that site na siya. Kaya nga naman, ato, ato na itumong ang imong BP cuff sa imong brachial artery na siya. Like for example, if you are going to place the BP cuff na siya, you'll actually notice your BP cuff has an arrow. Ano mo? Artery na siya. Okay, nag-point na siya. Okay, the arrow should be aligned to the artery where you located na siya. Get to you. So if there is no kit on a brachial, there is no kit on a brachial artery, na siya. Then the arrow should be aligned on the brachial artery. Another one. There should be one inch distance between the brachial artery and your BP cuff. Ayaw na siya ibutang dere sa crease sa mo elbow. Ayaw na sa kit sa mga pinoy na isuk-suk ni mo ang inyong hapuan. That's not actually the correct technique. Why? Once you start to inflate it, mapiit, mapiit ang inyong stethoscope na siya. Sakit kina ni Fisher. Dapat there should be a space for your stethoscope na siya. Gets niyo? So when you place your BP cuff, dapat there should be a one inch distance na siya. Always remember that one. Yes, you know? So that when you also start to listen to the sounds as yeah, ang inyo rin yung madunga na sound is the blood pressure. Why don't we madunga na sound coming from the BP uh, cuff as yeah. Yes, you know? Another one, which arms are we going to use, sir? Is it going to be left or right side? Either rin yun as yeah, kung asay available. But if you're given a chance to really choose which arms are you gamitin, left side is the best one as yeah. Why left side or left arm is the best? Uh, okay. So it is closer to the heart as here. Meaning the pressure is uh, strong in as here. You can really hear that one when you're taking BP as here. Now, pwede na ba sa right side? Wa ginay problem as here. Any arms will do, but if you're given a chance to choose, left side is the, the, the best one as here. Okay. Next, the arms of your patient should be on at a dress as here and level with the heart as here. Never ever place the arms of your patient at a Kana high or taas, pas taas pa siya sa heart king. Ano man, the flow of the blood will saka na siya. Meaning the pressure is slow. Hinay ka na siya. So abnormal yung mong madunggan na blood pressure. If the arms of your patient is too low rapo na siya, ubus sa inyong heart na siya, kusog po kayo ang flow sa inyong dugoan na because of the gravity na siya. So tendency is uh, high blood pressure in yung mga 
dunggan as instead of the normal one. So you have to make sure that the arms of your patient should be at rest and level to the heart of your patient as well. Gets in you? Alright. So when you apply the BP cuff na siya, make sure again, the arrow. By the way, sir, what if wala arrow ang po ang BP cuff? Wala yung indicate tubes ang inyong basihan. Align the tubes kung asan yun ang kit ng brachial artery. Okay? So when you, uh, when you cuff this one, it should be not too tight and not too loose. Kasi yun, this is too loose. Alright. After that one, okay, for the gauge, okay. Now for your gauge, na siya, okay. Uh, at the back of your gauge, pwede niyo siya iho or clip niyo na siya. Some of the uh, sana kana what we call this BP cuff na ikahukan ang inyo hang kanang gauge na siya. So you can either clip or i hook ni na siya. Now if ever wala mo ikana pang clip or pang hook na siya, you can hook it or clip it in between the BP cuff na siya. Yes, yes. So dili na niyo siya i. Butang. So later on, I'll place this one as yan. Sa butang to okay? Make sure na visible or makita again ninyo ang meter or ang gauge na siya. Okay? So once ready na ang inyo hang kanan sa BP cuff na siya, aripod mo sa, sa pika sa side of the tube. So the other side of the tube, you have your air release valve and your inflation valve na siya. Make sure na before pa ka magsugod o BP, imong ilak daan ang imong air release valve. How do you know if nakalak na siya? Make sure that you the, the the inflation valve is in front of you. Atubangan ninyo, okay? Then turn the air release valve going clockwise na siya or going to the right na siya. Okay, right. Padong right ana na siya, okay? So make sure na until na mo lock mo gahin na siya. So meaning it's ready to be inflated na siya. The next your stethoscope, you ready po na to stethoscope. Now for the stethoscope, make sure that the earpiece is kana Masa na nakatubang na siya outside sa imuha na siya or facing forward na siya. Padung ang inyong stethoscope dito. Dapat ingunan ni ang iyang um, earpiece, meaning nakatubang na siya pa gawas. Mm. Usually maganda yung earpiece is nasa tunga, nag-meet na siya sa tunga. No, you have to adjust that one and forward na niyo padung dito na siya. Why? So that when you place your earpiece to your ear, ears na siya, it goes directly to your ear canal. Musood yun na siya sulod sa inyong ears. If the earpiece is just on the middle na siya, tendency is nara siya sa gawas si mong ears. So you will have difficulty in listening to the sounds na siya. So you have to adjust that one. Imo na siya i-bend. No? Ang binural, imo na siya i-bend facing outside or kind of forward na siya. Okay, so that when you insert it, suod ka na sa inyong ear ka na na siya. Ayaw na i-meet o ka nang ingunan na na siya. Okay, it's really difficult for you to listen to the sounds na siya. Okay, next one. When listening to the sounds na siya, uh, there are two ways for you to listen to the sound. Either you will be using diaphragm na siya or the bell. This is the diaphragm, kaya dako na siya na circle. This is the bell na siya. Bell is actually commonly used to listen to the rhythm of the heart na siya and also for kind of listening to the heartbeat of an infant na siya. Okay? Uh, most of the time, kitang tanan, nurses, uh, even doctors na siya or uh, ganang sana, caregivers na siya, we actually use the diaphragm na side na siya. Mone itong gamitin in listening to the uh, blood pressures na siya. Okay? Now, how do you know if you're listening to the diaphragms na siya? You'll actually notice in yung bell na buslot. Bantay mo. Sarawa. Na yung buslot na siya. Okay? So, pagtabong si mong siya buslot. The, the, the hole will actually tell you kung aso mo na minaw na siya. Whether you will be listening to the diaphragm or to the bell na siya. Now, if the hole is closed na siya, sirado, meaning you're listening to the diaphragm. If ever you'll notice, ako na siya twist, open ang hole. Bantay mo? Open na siya. So meaning you're listening to the bell. You are no longer listening to the diaphragm na siya. Muna ko sa'yo, mabantayan ninyo. Pabinaw ninyo, what you came up? Dunggan. Supposedly, sakit ni, di ba? Supposedly, what you came up? Dunggan. Because I am using bell. But if I'm going to twist this one and close the hole, I am now, sakit na kayo na siya. I am now using the diaphragm na siya. Mo nang uban sa inyo, mabantayan na, murag, huwag ko yung madunggan. Because, uh, kansada, uh, open ang inyong bell na siya. Dapat close siya if you're using diaphragm. If huwag pagin mo yung madunggan, buugun siya ng animal. <laughs> yes, uh, by the way, for you no longer using the stethoscope na siya, stop placing the stethoscope like this. Okay, this is not actually appropriate. Although some doctors, nurses are doing this, uh, probably because they're about to use this one as here. But this is not actually the appropriate way in placing the stethoscope as here. Dilipud na ingunani. 
Kena mabitay. Go to gay mo tingko yan na niya. Actually, no, no, na siya. The proper way in placing the stethoscope is actually sa bucket. That's one of the reasons why most of the doctors, when they are wearing their kanang sana, kanang gowns, na siya, ito sa stethoscope is not really sa bucket. But that's the proper way. Kaya nga naman, if yung ibutan sa liog ni mo na siya, kanang iunani na siya, namang ko ito din siya, nasamok, kanang kasis ni mo, patient, magbitay-bitay na siya, samok ni na siya. Kaya, if ever kanang gig, Clip ni Sir Leo, may ibu emo tingko yun siya. Okay, bye bye, may problema na siya. Okay, now let's go with kanang getting the PP of your patient. Okay, now when holding the diaphragm, as you hold it like this, ayaw gamit ay yung thumb ng ginana. Again, your thumb also has a pulsating force siya. That's why when you notice when doctor listens to the sound, they hold it like this. Patay na niyo, okay? So place your diaphragm. On the brachial artery where you locate that one, okay? Then make sure the lock ang inyong kuan, air release what pila. So we will inflate this one. So buro ta. We will go with 160. So once we reach 160 this year, hold entirely the air release what this year. Then slowly release. Ine lang. So, ang inyong pag-release, ano niya, hinay lang. Ayaw mo mag-release, sorry kaya. Ayaw mo pag-release na pariha sa barangay, na inigbulo na na nila, ano maka-release. Release din. Natagahan din mo reading sa siya. That's not actually correct. Kasi that's not a proper way. Because your goal in starting to release is to listen to the sound. Okay? So, what sound are you going to hear na siya? The lab-dub na sound na siya. Meaning, you will hear as ano, tug, tug, tug. Tug, tug, na siya. Okay. Now, when you hear the first continuous sound, pamina mo ha, first continuous, when we say first continuous, inigdungog ni mo sa first sound, nagini siya mo sumpay, that is your systolic, the number on top na siya. Gets ninyo? That's the systolic number, which means that that is the highest pressure of your blood flow na siya. Okay. Then you will still listen to the sound until, to the point na wak na mo yung matunggan. So, pangitaan din ito asa ang last na sound ninyo na dugan on the gauge na siya. And that is your diastolic na siya. Gets ninyo? So, ang sounds ang inyong uh, pagminaw na siya. Sir, mungingon mo, pitik ang gauge, sir. Ano, ano. Do not rely on mo, pitik ang gauge. Because sometimes abnormal. Kaya kung mo rely ito na pitik ang gauge, kasi gamit sa stethoscope. Yeah. Di ba? Okay, kaya naman ko yung uban sa inyo, ha, pamaymay, araramutan ako sa akwa. That's not actually true. You really have to listen to the sounds na siya. Gets niyo? So your goal right now in practicing na siya is how to control sa pag, uh, control sa air release. Well, kaya naman, usap is mga challenging. Kaya inyo mo kung makitaan, iniburot na nila, okay? Iniburot na nila, grabe kayo kayo maka... A release na siya. You really have to control slowly in releasing so that you can really hear the sounds na siya. Gets in you? Another one. Sir, first na kong burot, pag paminaw na kong burot, huwag kayo kong nadunggan. What do I do? Okay? Do I re-inflate it again or can I papawa yun sa nako? Now, if ever huwag ka kadungog sa first ni mong attempt na siya, let the arms of the patient can rest for one minute. One minute sa ha? After one minute, burot ka o balik. Now, on the second attempt, wag yung pukuy na dungga na siya, then you really have to stop, remove the BB cup on the second attempt, buong may na dungga na, and let the arms rest for 15 minutes na siya. Papawayag yun ang arms ni patient or else magbunpog na siya. Muna yung naiuban sa inyo, Adri, okay, o, yan, 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 liwag, bunpog. So, on the other side, pwede rin na siya, but however, kana pressure na kayo ang blood vessels na ni patient, gigikan man mo na, BP. Papawaya lang sa iyo lawas. Or you can do exchange. Exchange lang mo sa inyong partners in practice sa BP. Get sa inyo? Okay. Now, your goal is to know how to control the air release body set and listen to the sound. Bahala kayo kung wala pa mo kibaw pili BP. Basta kibaw mo control. Okay. Sige, go!